So ads.txt status not found is very common error among bloggers when you add your website to Google AdSense and that's why your AdSense account is not getting approved. So in this video, I'm going to explain you how you can solve this issue no matter if you are having WordPress website, blogger website or any custom website. Just to give you an example, if I type my website URL and then type ads.txt, you can see I have this ads.txt on my website and this file is really important because it has your publisher ID. It is really important that you have a correct publisher ID in your ads.txt file. And when you do not have this file on your website, you have this error not found and Google cannot verify the ownership of your website. So let's solve this issue. And one more thing, sometimes we have this file on our website, but still here in Google AdSense shows not found. So we're gonna cover both the points in this video. So make sure you watch this video until the end. And I'll try to make this video very useful so you do not need to watch any other video about ads.txt file. So let's start with first WordPress. First of all, what you need to do is, you need to click here on the website for which you are seeing this error. And now you can see here, verify site ownership. If you see here, something like your site is managed by SiteKit plugin, do one thing, go to your website and remove the SiteKit plugin or detach your website from SiteKit plugin. Okay, once you see this screen, you can click here on ads.txt snippet, then click on copy. Now this code is copied. So first let's talk about WordPress. So in WordPress, click here, add new plugin. And now you need to search here, add inserter. Guys, okay, do not use the plugin ads.txt. This plugin is much better. Add manager and ads and ads. Click on install now. Once installed, click on activate. Okay, once the plugin is activated, you can find this plugin here under settings. And then click on add inserter. Now what you need to do here is click here on ads.txt and then scroll the page. And here, what you need to do is the code we copied from here, you can copy it again. We need to add the code here. And you will see this option here, ads.txt file not writable. Don't worry about it. I checked this is something they need to fix, but file is writable. There's no issue with it. If you click here on save, and now you can see information, advertising system, your publisher ID, type direct. So don't worry about it if it was written not writable. And that's it. Now your ads.txt file is added on your website. If I go to my website now, and then just to verify, I click on ads.txt. And you can see ads.txt file is added here. Now come back to your AdSense account and then click here, I have published the ads.txt file and then click on verify. And now you can see your site is verified because ads.txt is working. In case of blogger website, log into your blogger account then click here on settings and then scroll the page and then under monetization you will find this option, enable custom ads.txt. Enable this option from here and then click here on custom ads.txt and then paste the same code here and then click on save. So this is a solution of Blogger. By default for Blogger, you don't need a custom ads.txt file because Blogger is a product from Google. It automatically manages the ads.txt file. Just in case I show you, if you have some problem, you can add ads.txt file like this. Now let's talk about custom website or even on WordPress website, you don't want to use a plugin. What you can do that? So log into your website cPanel or any panel from where you can access your website files. And now click here on file manager or if you're using edge panel, make sure you can see the website files. Now find this directory, public underscore HTML, double click on it. And now what you need to do here is, click here on plus file, and then give name ads.txt, and then create new file. Guys, make sure you're creating this file in the root directory. And now once you create this file, right click on this file and click on edit. And now paste the code and then click on save changes. This method you can use on any website, WordPress website, a custom website. Okay, now let's talk about another issue when you already added ads.txt. But AdSense still says ads.txt status not found. And this can be very frustrating. Some of my subscribers of this channel are facing this issue. So what you need to do is guys, make sure if you're using WordPress website, make sure you clean the cache from here. So make sure if you're using any plugin, purge all cache from here. It is very important guys that you clean the cache. Or in case you still don't see the file, I recommend you to try to disable the cache plugin and then write your website URL and then ads.txt. This time you'll find this file here. Sometimes it's possible you clean the cache from here but you still have cache on your hosting. So make sure log into hosting and try to find an option to clean cache. Sometimes there's hosting side cache which need to be cleared to see new files. In case you're using Cloudflare, this is really important guys. A lot of people use Cloudflare. Okay, so in case you're using Cloudflare, what you need to do is on left side here, go to caching and then click on configuration. And then from here, click on purge everything, guys. It's really important to click on purge everything. This is very confusing for Cloudflare, why they have this option here. Because now, if you click on caching, this is a paid feature for Cloudflare. You need to enable cache reserve and you need to pay for it. But that's a topic for another video. But for now, 
go to configuration and then from here purge everything. Okay, last thing about s.txt file. Sometimes you see this error here, s.txt status unauthorized. In that case, what is happening? Because you're using the wrong code. So this is the code, you have this publisher ID, sometimes not copied properly. So what you need to do is, go back to AdSense account and then from here go to Add Snippet and make sure you're copying this code correctly. Sometimes it is possible not properly corrected or there's some error, that's why you see the error unauthorized. So double check this code, this error comes only when the code is not correct. So once you copy the code from here, you add the code here, then your error of adds.txt status unauthorized will be gone. And if you still have any issue regarding adds.txt file, comment down on this video. I reply to all the comments on this channel. If you get any value from this video, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I really, really appreciate that. And watch this important video here that how to index your pages on Google very quickly.